Good morning and welcome to Vlogsember day 12. So yesterday was a lot of fun. We did our annual gift exchange. I was all glam. I was fancy. It was a great day. Now today, it's raining. I'm feeling very lazy. I don't want to do anything. This is taking a lot for me to just get up and sit down on the floor to talk to you guys. So I figured I'm going to try and pull myself together a little bit and do some light makeup. And here comes Puff some light makeup and answer some questions. I told you guys on Instagram to ask me some questions. So I'm gonna go through some answers or questions and do some skincare and makeup. So first I'm gonna take this off and be blind as a bat just because I need to do my face, right? This is a cotton pad. Boop, boop. Okay, so first I'm just gonna take my fresh Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner, and I literally can't see what I look like. Like, that's how blind I am. My prescription's not that bad when it comes to my eyesight, but at the same time, without my glasses or contacts, I, like, people's faces just look blurry to me. So, I can see close. I def definitely cannot see far away, and even though my camera's kind of close, I can't see my face. I can see just, like, the outline of my Egghead, that's all I can see. So I'm just gonna use this first. And then we're gonna go in with a moisturizer, right? So I'm gonna go in my Estee Lauder moisturizer that I've been loving. So this does have SPF 15 in it. I'm not going outdoors today, but it doesn't really matter. Oops, that's okay. You should always wear an SPF. Even if you think you don't need an SPF, even if the sun isn't shining, okay? You need an SPF. So I'm just gonna put this on and hope that I'm blending it in. Cause like I said, I can't see. Actually I have a little mirror here, so I'm just gonna blend it in. And I'm gonna start answering some questions that you guys asked me. Okay, so I have a lot of questions here. And I just asked like an hour ago, so there's probably still going to be some more that comes in that I won't be able to answer. But I'm just going to answer random ones. Um, let's see. Sandra from Canada says, should I send you some ketchup chips? She sent us ketchup chips before, um, a few months ago. I think it was in the summer actually. And they were so yummy, but you definitely don't need to send any more. I mean, it was so good, but... I don't think I need chips right now, as much as I want them. Chips and chocolate, yes, but I am taking my glucose test for, um, what's it called? Diabetes, gestational diabetes. I'm taking my test on Monday, so I probably shouldn't be snacking. Although those were really, really good. Cozy Caroline asked, what is your college degree in? My degree is in, I have a bachelor's in operations management. So that is what it's in. Um, and started my business this year. So excited about that. Lindsay Wood says, what's your shower theme? My baby shower theme, my baby shower is gonna be in January. It's gonna be tiny because of the coronavirus. It's gonna be a lot smaller. Um, it's going to be broken into two different groups, but my theme is going to be woodland theme. So very like woodsy, greenery, some animals, um, just a very like woodland and rustic vibe, I guess. I saw, you, you can find the cutest things on Pinterest with like um, the desserts or like the food table. They have like these deer droppings, but it's actually like chocolate. Um, they have these you know those like roll up chocolate, um, I don't know what they're called, but those can be like logs. I don't know, there's so much for like a woodland theme that you can do. And I just think winter time is like the best time. So that will be the theme. And I just ordered like a hunter green dress. 
I was originally just wanting to wear pajamas to be honest like the silk pajamas like I wanted that vibe of just relaxing and not really dressing up but I decided I probably should so I ordered a hunter green dress it's like lace it's pretty um, I got that from pink blush maternity so that's what I'll be wearing all right jlq.styles asked ever consider going brunette i feel like it would look so good absolutely not i have been my hair has been every single color and the dark hair is not for me personally um it's just it doesn't look good on me i have tried it i've i've had black hair i've had dark brown hair i've had like a chestnut hair it does not look good on me and i am just a blonde like that is what I am meant to be for the rest of my life so I don't see myself changing that ever it will always be a blonde hair and I kind of like that because I feel like when I get like really old and I start turning gray I think I'm gonna be like that gray blonde you know that super light light gray blonde I feel like that would be a good transition so I will not go brunette but I appreciate the compliment Ooh, this isn't that juicy, I guess, but Lindsay would also ask, will you get the vaccine? Not right away. I will wait a little bit before getting the vaccine. Um, probably wait like a year, you know? Some people will get it right away. Well, I'm not gonna get it when I'm pregnant, but I'm damn sure not gonna get it directly after I'm pregnant either. I'm going to wait, uh, I would say I'm going to wait a year at least. They're not, they're not going to give it to you until the middle of next year anyways. They're giving it to, to certain people, at-risk people and, and old people and, and healthcare workers. Yeah. So it's not going to be available for another, for, until the middle of next year for, for everyone anyways. Well, regardless, like when it is available, would you get it? I don't have to worry about it because it's not going to be a bit, well, I could actually get it because of my diabetes, but no, no, I'm going to wait, so. Yeah, but, so this household is going to wait on the vaccine. You know, I just, it's, everyone has their opinions on it and that's fine. If you're going to get it right away, that's fine. I don't care. It's not me. Me well, personally. Huh? It's more at-risk people that need it first, anyways, so even if it is. 100% safe and effective or not. Well, I hope should, those people will be okay. Really, we shouldn't really be getting it, I don't think, anyways. I don't know, maybe I should, but... It's a no from me, dog. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so that's that question. We're gonna, we're gonna wait up. We're gonna wait a bit. Okay, Erin.m.michaels, first time mama here as well. What's your thoughts on visitors when home with the COVID pandemic? It makes it hard, but what are your thoughts and wishes? What are your thoughts? Okay, so Scott and I talked about it and you know, we're, our baby's due in March and I think we're just gonna give it like a month before seeing too, like too many people. It's just, and you have a new baby and then there's a pandemic thrown into it um i think we're gonna not see anyone really except for like our parents um for a month so i feel like that's that's good at least a month to start you know and see where everything goes but i feel like that's pretty safe kelsey pellick i'm sorry if i'm saying your name wrong also i can't tell if my camera's overheating so hopefully not um, I think I answered her question already. She asked me top three perfumes and I messaged her back, but also she asked what's on your Christmas wish list. I don't actually, I'm not really asking for anything this year. Like I, it took a lot of effort for me to like Google what I wanted, if that makes sense. Like I didn't really know that I wanted anything um, because I definitely don't like need anything. So, Christmas was kind of hard this year. I think I asked for like a fuzzy robe or just like comfy clothes and like leggings and 
I don't know. I'm using the same sponge for everything, by the way, and I'm just doing like a light, all liquid cream look. Do a lip color because my lips look a little muted right now, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna also answer some more questions. So let's see. Mini Mishi asked, are you taking maternity pictures? No, I don't think I am actually. I know a lot of people say like to do it and it's like the best thing and you won't regret it, but I don't really want to, to be honest. I'm just not into it, especially if, maybe if it was like summer, um, but it being so cold, I don't really want to take it in inside anywhere. And I don't want to go outside and be freezing and like in a winter outfit, you know? So, no, I don't think so. E. Lind and Love View. Have you guys found your venue? We're just having a backyard wedding. So if you guys didn't know, it's just gonna be like a home cozy backyard wedding. Glam by B. Ren. How many weeks were you when you found out the sex of the baby? I think we were, we found out at like 12 weeks, um, but the gender reveal was like 15 weeks. So we found out then. I think I've answered this question a few times, like, probably 10, but do you plan on going back to the spa or is it just YouTube and your boutique full-time for now? Um, just YouTube and boutique. I think I've mentioned that a bunch of times, but it's fine. Um, just with like the pandemic and me being seven months pregnant, I'm not gonna go back to a spa right now. Plus the space is really tiny. So you can only have a certain like amount of people in the space at a time. So I don't think I'll be rolling up seven months pregnant in a tiny space. So YouTube and the boutique is what I'm doing and that is what's best for me right now. Okay, someone said, it's so nice to see Mal is your maid of honor. Was it hard deciding who it would be? Love you. Thanks, Erica. Um, no, it wasn't hard because I had always said since I was like little that Mal would always be my maid of honor. So no, it wasn't a hard decision for me. She's been like my longest, closest friend for over 20 years. So no, it was definitely a no brainer. Okay, this last one I'm gonna answer is just like a random one. What are your top December favorites? 100% that winter candle is my December favorite because it smells so good and it just reminds me of Christmas time. So that candle for sure. Other than that, I don't know if I have any that I can think of off the top of my head. Ooh, there are these ice cream bars and I'll insert a picture right here, but we have them from Yasso and it's the sugar cookie and they're delicious. So if you're looking for like a sweet treat, but it's like frozen yogurt, those are the ones for you. Okay, and I think I'm gonna end my vlog December day 12 here. I know it was shorter and it was all about just like answering questions, but I hope you guys still enjoyed it and I will see you all tomorrow.